Welcome to Take Me to the Rivers YouTube channel. You know that we give you the very best in New Orleans musicians at different venues from around the city. Today we are at Preservation Hall with the lovely and incredibly talented Kristen Diabo and Gabrielle Cavassa. in San Francisco when I accidentally drove, like it was late after a gig, and I drove to my ex-boyfriend's house, like accidentally. Just, it was like, it was a, what's it called? Force of habit, is that a phrase? That's something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was like what I used to do, so I, I just drove there and, um, and then I realized what I had done and I, and pulled into the gas station and just wrote a little bit of that song in, on my voice memos. Kristen, how was it playing that with Gabrielle, the songwriter's song, and like being able to share that? It was really awesome. Um, she has such a singular voice and such a distinct style in her, in her writing and her voice, like her songs sound like her. And so in some ways that's like a really big challenge to try and take that on but it also makes it a lot more interesting and a lot more fun to just be able to try it. Two very quick compliments. Your phrasing as I've said from song one is just amazing. Your timing, your phrasing. 
Um, and congratulations, you won the Sarah Vaughan Jazz Vocal Contest. So Thank you. people are definitely hearing the same thing I am, which is good. Um, and Kristen, you are so perfect at just figuring out how to blend right into it. It's just, it's uncanny, really. It's just great. Thanks. So tell, tell me a little bit about the next song and why you, why you selected the next song. Um, so this next song is one of mine. It's called True and Natural Man. Um, and I, I just, it's, it's a song I've had for a long time and it's kind of a, a usual in our repertoire when we play shows with my band. And I just really, I've always liked this song or envisioned this song with um, someone else singing it, not me. Really? And, and so, I mean, we're both singing it. We'll both be singing it today. But I was like, oh, this is a great opportunity to to hear Gabby sing this song. So I kind of selfishly just wanted to hear her sing it, I think, is <laughs> one of the reasons I picked it. Now, I'm really excited. I can't believe everybody who's listening is probably super excited. This is going to be great. Please, whenever you're ready. the 
Amazing, beautiful. Kristen, that song just kills me every time. Me too. Yeah. Oh, good. good. So Thank I'm you. not I'm not alone over here. Good, <laughs> good, good. I still like it too. And after you know ten years of playing it, I guess it's a good sign. Thank you. I appreciate that. How does it feel to collaborate with a singer songwriter? Um, a little bit out of you know what what you might normally be doing. Yeah, totally. Um, tell us a little bit about that. I love Kristen's songs and I love singing with Kristen. Um, this song specifically, I it's like so fun for me to sing this because I would never write something like this. Mm. Something positive about a man? <laughs> 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 this is like an amazing song for me. I love it. <laughs> but wait, there's a backstory to this, right? What's the backstory? So this song? Yeah. Oh man. Um, yeah, this song did get me in trouble, actually. I knew there was something. Even though it's a positive song. So I was my boyfriend at the time. He, uh, for a long time, he thought the song was about him. I never told him that. He just thought it, <laughs> and I didn't say anything because I figured that was like the lesser evil, I guess. Um, and I hadn't put it on a record yet, but I made some home demos of it, and he and I started listening to the home demos. I was kind of prepping for a record coming up. And the date that I recorded the home demos mm. was on the recording. And the date was before he and I were together. So clearly I, could not, I couldn't have written a song about him. You know, he was pretty bummed out, like, all this time. He thought it was about him, and it wasn't. And he was really most upset, I think, not so much that, that the song was not about him, but that it was about someone else. <laughs> um, and so I was trying to think of something to say to, like, I don't know, make him feel better and dig myself out of a hole. And I, I had to tell him, like, you know, I just, I told him that I just wrote the song about my hypothetical dream man. Mm. And I just wrote him into existence. And that's, you know, here we are. Like, it, it like, was future projecting. and. It did, that didn't help. Really. Yeah. It, did, that, it didn't go over well. <laughs> it didn't huh? go over well. No. <laughs>